Yesterday I got in the mail one of the cheapest wireless microphone systems with built-in battery that you can get out today. So I went out and tested. As you know, I really like to get deep in the reviews and test. But in this case, there is no so much to review. There is just an on and off switch, an USB-C charging port, and on the transmitter, there is just a plus and minus button. And that's all. Actually, I'll consider this system to be a ready-to-go plug-and-play system without any hassle. And if you're interested in this system right now, you can check up the link in the description and you can get it for around $50 to $60, depending on your Amazon store. Okay, so let's go what's inside the package. And it's kind of a pretty one. The name of the system is Kima Fun or Kima Fun. I will call it Kima Fun. And the model number is KMG1023. Well, let's get into this unboxing. And in the box there is the Kimafan customer service team notice with other stuff. Head-on mic version, lavalier microphone, two additional windscreen foams, 6.35 mm adapter, belt pack, dual USB-C charging cable, Y splitter cable, and the most important, transmitter and receiver. Let's get into the design and it's looking kind of a thermometer sticking out of your camera. Well, with the Y adapter, the splitter, you can actually move it from sticking out. So, but then you'll have a problem. This does not have any clip on, so it will just wumble like that. In the other hand, the transmitter has a belt-on clip, so you will be fine with that. As for the connection, well, you don't have to worry of anything. They will connect automatically. And actually, the connection will happen at around 5 seconds. So when you have a clear, not blinking light, like right now, the connection has happened and you are ready to go. The charging time is around 3 to 4 hours and the transmitter continues work around 6 hours the receiver is working around 10 hours. The frequency band is 2400 to 2483 MHz with built-in lithium battery of unknown capacity. And that's it, let's go straight out to test the head-on microphone and the lavalier with the range field test. Okay, so we are now ready to test the lavalier microphone and how it sounds in this kind of wind-free open space environment with some small noise of the waves because we are on the sea and I will actually test the range of the Kima Fan 2.4 wireless microphone it has stated 100 feet and this should be around 33 meters well I think that it can handle more so I will step off and back for a while so you can get an idea when the sound will cut off and how the distance is affecting the sound quality and actually how much we can get without sound cut off. So now I'm actually around 40 and 50 meters. I'm going straight back so we can get an idea how the system sounds. Get a straight on point test. And I'm going still back testing, one, two, three. I'm around 70 to 80 meters from my camera. And I will go straight back to an 100. So you can get an idea on how I sound from this state. Now I am going straight back so we can get an idea on how it sounds. And when I get to the studio, I will actually understand if it was good or not. So test. One, two, three. This is the lavalier from Kima Fan. We already made a distant test, so this is actually kind of just a test. Testing one, two, three. Testing one, two, three. The Kima Fan 2.4 wireless microphone system that I actually mounted on my Sony A7 III with the Desvio 7 inch screen on top. 
and I'm using a Vanguard tripod stand and I'm using the Sony A7 III sorry, the Sony A6400 with the 1635 f4 as my Beacon. And we are now ready to get back into the studio and analyze the sound clarity. Back into the studio. As you can understand, we got a signal cutoff at around 40 meters and going further and further away, well, we didn't got any clear audio. So I would recommend to use this system at around 30 meters, just like stated in the package. Okay, so now I'm testing actually in my studio the on-ear microphone and connected straight via the wireless transmission system on my Sony a7 III so you can get an idea on how this system sounds in this studio environment. And now I will switch to the lavalier mic. And now you should get an idea on how the lavalier mic sounds in this studio environment with actually no noise and actually nothing to be hassling around. And you can understand also the noise level and the noise floor. I will be just silent for a couple of seconds. The sound clarity. Well, I'm not any sound engineer, but I found it to be really pleasant with a lot of deep bass coming out from this ear on microphone. In the other hand, the lavalier mic, well, I don't have a deep voice and being further from my voice, actually being on my chest, but I got it a little less bassy sounding. It was clear without any kind of weird noises. Surprisingly, the noise floor is not bad and actually didn't put any noise reduction and all the sound that you heard were straight out from my Sony a7 III. There you go, guys. And really affordable, cheap wireless microphone system for your budget filmmaking interview setup. If you have any questions, feel free to comment down below. I will be happy to answer them all. Thumbs up if you liked it. Subscribe with the bearing icon to get notified every time I make a new video and see you on my next one.